We are right now standing at the opening to the lagering cave for Russell and Peter's Brewing. Um, my colleagues and I uh, have been working on a book and during our um, research came across the history of um, the cave and uh, Russell and Peter's Brewing, which was the first brewery in Macon, uh, one of the first breweries in Georgia, if not the South. The gentleman moved to town from New York um, uh, in the early 1830s. Uh, they came from Bavaria and Germany. Um, uh, Jacob Russell came down with the railroad uh, and was employed there. Um, he uh, also opened up a mercantile and had a store here in town and with his partner, uh, Julius Peters, opened up the brewery. Um, they operated for, for several years. Uh, he uh, and his partner uh, brewed um, uh, traditional uh, lagers that they were familiar with from Germany, which required cool temperatures for storage. Dropped the, the kegs of beer down through the, the shaft uh, for storage here, ship them down the, the stream, the Vineville branch here to Darien, Georgia, uh, at the end of the Okamogi. The significance of this cave not only resides in the industrial history of Macon, but uh, the significance of the time period of which the, the brewery operated prior to the Civil War. Um, Jacob Russell was a known slave owner, um, and uh, the cave itself uh, uh, reveals uh, thousands of pick marks on the inside consistent with that time period was most likely done by slave labor. To see something like this so preserved, um, not been vandalized, not been um, significantly altered um, is, you know, a phenomenal find.